like they have in Southern Oregon, Northern California. But for a decade plus, Bush did it too. They turned all the water off, even though there was huge mountain lakes full of water that were built, artificial lakes, reservoirs, to create farming belts in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. It stopped. They then said, because of a fish that's invasive, not even the law, you can't have water for a decade and drove everyone out. Now they're buying it up for nothing. Then they'll turn the water back on. This is the plan. And when you start thinking like a globalist, you'll understand their larger operation. And then you'll have a chance of stopping them. But their plan is deindustrialization for you. Then they siphon all the technology and money into their system, the breakaway civilization, the opposite of an equally distributed civilization, the essence of elitism. So we can joke around about, oh, you know, Godzilla movie, there's a secret world government system, and people hijack the world government system to release a bioweapon upon the earth to kill all the humans. The bioweapons happen to be a thousand feet tall. But they're biological weapons. And, and they say to cleanse the earth of the evil humans. And this is all part of the idea that humans are inherently bad in every case. And so getting rid of us is a good thing. We suck. We're ugly. We need to give up our life force. We need to give up our survival instinct. We need to just go away. Again, thank you for joining us. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Now, the globalists just want you to hate yourself, so you won't want to achieve anything. You won't want to control your own destiny. You won't want to be involved so they can, quote, own the future. That's an establishment term. Own the future. So they can have their breakaway civilization, and so all of us profane people while we're debating whether cauliflower is racist or not, because AOC said so, while we're all busy doing that, they're laughing at us, siphoning all of our research, all of our technology off, and building a breakaway civilization, which again, the new Godzilla movie shows you. Underground bases and advanced spacecraft and advanced weapons and advanced uh, airborne troop carriers, a lot of stuff that has actually been built. And they're just showing it to you in the movie. In fact, real insiders wrote this script because the symbol of the infinity hourglass is actually a major underground secret government project symbol. So again, this is total revelation of the method. And you can, you can look at it two ways. They're either telling you hey, we know there's bad groups that want to kill everybody with their world government, but we've decided that's not a good project and it'll be too out of control because we wanted to just slowly cut you back. We didn't want to kill everybody. And now we realize once this gets out of Pandora's box that this thing wants to kill the planet, which is Satan or the false king. Oh, yes, it's all biblical. You've got Satan, the, they call him the false king, the three-headed dragon, the alien. And then you've got Godzilla, the Atlantean god, come to save us out of the ocean. I mean, this is beyond Illuminati. And the symbolism of the cross with the dragon on top of the mountain, it's all there. Unbelievable. 